Hi, this is Dr. Cook, your Chem 240 instructor. Let's take a look at the next video. When we carry out an electrophilic substitution reaction on an aromatic ring, when there are already substituents present on the ring, one can form different isomers. In this case, we can form uh, the possibility of adding the electrophile to the two position relative to the group already there. That would be the ortho product or the ortho substitution product. Or it could be in the three position, which is the meta product or the para position or the four position of the benzene ring. So one thing we need to think about is how does the substituent on the ring, which I've referred to as generically Y here, how does that affect the reactivity of the benzene and how does it affect the ratio of the products when we have multiple isomers possible? We're going to take a close look at that in this video. <clears throat> so first let's start with some data. If you take a look at the reactivity of benzene with different substituents, one can see that the electrophilic substitution rate is affected by what kind of group you have on the ring. So using benzene with a relative rate of 1, we see that if we have an OH group, it reacts a thousand times faster with some electrophile than benzene. So it's increased in reactivity when you have something like an oxygen. Whereas if you put chlorine, it's about 3% the reactivity of benzene. And if you put a nitro group on there, it's uh, 10 to the minus 8th as reactive as benzene. So very, very low reactivity relative to benzene. So what we say is that some groups deactivate the reactivity of the benzene ring towards electrophilic substitution and some groups activate it. That is, uh, some groups speed up the reaction relative to benzene and some groups slow down the reaction relative to benzene. And what we see is that the activating groups are all those that are electron donating. When we have alkyl groups or we have heteroatoms which have lone pairs that can donate into the ring through resonance, those all activate and increase the reaction rates of benzene rings towards electrophilic species. On the other hand, if you have d deactivating groups, these are all associated with groups which are electron withdrawing. That is, anything that is electronegative that doesn't donate strongly, um, or if you have groups which have multiple bonds to heteroatoms, such as a nitrile, you can see a triple bond from carbon to nitrogen. This is polarized in that direction where carbon is partially po positive and nitrogen is partially negative. Um, nitro groups, if you think about the structure of a nitro group and you look at the Lewis structure for a nitro group, it looks like this where we have a full plus charge on the nitrogen and a minus charge on the oxygen. But you can see this is also very highly polarized and a very strong electron withdrawing group because of the full plus charge on the nitrogen that's attached to the benzene ring in this case. Um, sulfonic acid, a sulfonic acid has sulfur multiple bonded to oxygen, so that's the sulfonic acid group. Again, polarized with a lot of positive charge at the sulfur and negative charges at the oxygens. Um, and the relative rates for those are significantly slower than benzene. Anything that has an oxygen double bond to it, even an acyl group or a carbonyl group, also lowers the reactivity of benzene. So we refer to those as deactivating groups uh, for the re reaction of electrophilic substitution relative to benzene. One can get a sense as to that reactivity because when we're talking about electrophilic substitution, you want electron density in the ring, pi bonds, in order to react with an electrophile. And here you can see the electrostatic maps of benzene relative to something like phenol. And you can see there's a, a large increase in the red color in the electrostatic map indicating a greater electron density in the ring hydrogens. So that means they're going to be more reactive towards an electrophile such as Br plus or NO2 plus and things like that. Whereas if you put electron withdrawing groups on, you can see that the amount of electron density in the ring decreases, meaning there's less electron density available to react with some electrophilic species as it comes near to that ring. So those reactions are slower than benzene, whereas the activated ones are faster than benzene. Well, another aspect of reactivity is one that concerns the position of the substituent when you add a new group on relative to groups that are already present on the benzene ring. And this is what we refer to as the regioselectivity. Which region of the molecule do we favor in adding a group? And what we see is when we have activating groups such as the OH group, the phenol, that forms products that are either ortho or para, but the amount of the meta product, the third regioisomer, 
in this reaction is very, very low or non-existent, as in this case of nitration. On the other hand, if you have an electron withdrawing group, such as a nitrile group, we see that the major product here is the meta product, or the 1, 3 relationship between the nitrile and the nitro group that was present initially. And the amount of the ortho and para products is very, very low. So this is the major product is meta. So what we can conclude from that is electron donating groups favor ortho and para substitution of electrophiles, whereas electron withdrawing groups favor meta substitution with electrophiles. And here's a chart showing the relative strength of those directing effects. As you get stronger and stronger electron donating groups, the ability to favor ortho and para products in those reactions increases. And in the contrast, if you get more and more electron withdrawing, such as a nitro group here, you get more and more selectivity favoring the meta products. Um, the halogens are somewhat in between. They're slightly electron withdrawing, but also have lone pairs to donate back. So they are deactivating. They're slightly less reactive than benzene. However, they do still direct groups orthopara. So that's something that's sort of in the gray zone. So for this purpose of this class, I'm not going to worry too much about the halogens. The stronger donating groups and withdrawing groups are the ones that we should focus on in terms of being able to distinguish which way the electrophilic substitution will proceed. So why do these groups have an effect? Well, let's take a look at the reaction mechanism when we have groups either donating or withdrawing on it. On this slide, I've shown you the reaction occurring with the presence of an OH group, which has an oxygen with lone pairs, which is an electron donating group. And you can see if that reacts with an electrophile, whether that's a Br plus or an NO2 plus or an SO3H plus, all of the electrophiles we've talked about, um, there are three possible products, but the, pro the reaction favors the formation of the ortho substitution and the para substitution. The meta substituted product is not formed or formed in very, very small amounts. And that's because when you do the electrophilic addition and generate the carbocation intermediates, you have carbocation intermediates where the plus charge is delocalized around the ring in three different positions and when that plus charge is adjacent to that electron donating group there's a stabilizing effect. The effect is stabilizing because the lone pairs on that oxygen can actually donate to neutralize that plus charge. As a matter of fact you can draw an additional resonance structure putting the plus charge out on oxygen with a full double bond between the carbon and oxygen. So that is especially stabilized if you add the electrophile in the ortho position, that means the plus charge ends up on those three carbons when we analyze the resonance structures. And in this one in particular, it is right adjacent to the electron donating group. So electron donating groups directly stabilize the plus charge if you can put it right next to it. And that'll occur if you add in the ortho or the para position. You get the same three positions of the double bond uh, and the plus charges if you add to the para position. And again, one of those is especially stabilized because it's next to the electron donating group. In contrast, if you add to the meta position of the benzene ring, that would be one of those positions, if you add the electrophile meta, that will put the plus charge on the carbon that's ortho to the OH, um, and on the other side ortho to the OH or para to the OH, that plus charge never resides right next to the donating group. So none of those species are especially stabilized. So it turns out that addition to the ortho and para positions are going to be the lower energy pathway than addition to the meta position. If we switch the electronic polarity of that, that group, that is use an electron withdrawing group, now the situation is opposite. If you have something like an NO2 group and you add the electrophile to the ortho position, that puts the plus charge in the exact same positions as we did previously in that carbon, on that carbon, and on that carbon. And now what we have is a, not, a, not a situation where the group especially stabilizes it, but it makes it especially unstable because we're putting plus next to plus. The NO2 group has a plus charged nitrogen. So we're putting plus next to plus, and that increases the energy or makes it less stable. The same is true if we add to the para position. The plus charge ends up 
uh, on this carbon, which is now especially unstable. And we can avoid that if we add the electrophile to the meta position. So that plus charge ends up on carbon skipping the carbon directly adjacent to that electron donating groups. So this is the, actually the lower energy pathway. It's the lesser of the evils so that it will react favorably to form the meta product over the ortho and para products. Now, as I mentioned, the halogens were somewhere in between. They're electron withdrawing, so the reactivity of the benzene ring is slightly less than that of benzene. However, they still direct ortho and para, and that's because the lone pairs on the halogens are available for donating and stabilizing the plus charge to some extent. So it still directs ortho and para because that's at least even better than having no stabilization at all. So somewhat in the middle, there's weakly electron withdrawing to deactivate the reactivity. However, it is still an ortho para director when we have a halogen present on the ring. So to summarize the effects of substituents on a benzene ring with regard to an additional reaction of an electrophile, if we have electron withdrawing groups, they deactivate the reactivity, they make them slower reacting than benzene, and they direct groups to the meta position. NO2 being one of the strongest um, things that have double bonded oxygens to them on the atom directly attached to the benzene ring, like S with a double bond oxygen, carbon with a double bonded oxygen, carbon with a triple bonded nitrogen, anything with multiple bonds to more electronegative atoms tends to make those all partially positive where it's directly attached to the benzene ring. So those are all electron withdrawing groups. For example, this one, the positive charge is right next to the ring. So if we carry out an electrophilic substitution reaction, that places the plus charge there, if it adds ortho or para, that would be especially bad. So it would favor adding to the meta position to avoid that. On the other hand, using electron donating groups, that activates the reactivity, makes them more reactive, and those are donating typically by resonance. Um, alkyl groups are through inductive effects. They are electron donating. These all direct groups to the ortho and para positions because those create a carbocation intermediate which is directly stabilized by putting the plus charge next to that electron donating group.